Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Programming here on SoloLearn.com. We are on part 50. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the course and uh, let it initialize. We're down here on More on Classes. So let's go on to Separate Files for Classes. So it's generally a good practice to define your new classes in separate files. Uh, this makes maintaining and reading the code easier. And to do this, use the following steps in code blocks. So file, new class, right? So obviously we're, you know, here we're just doing this um, on this website, but this is probably good to understand if you are gonna be writing some C++ programs. And the new files act as templates for our new class. H is the header file and CPP is the source file, okay? So let's see how this include. This means that we're including a reference to this file. So which two files are usually defined for a class, right? So that's the header and the source. Awesome. So the header file holds the function declarations and variable declarations. Currently holds a template for our new my class class with one default constructor, okay? Um, and the implementation of the class and its methods go in the source file, right? So this is sort of your, your little cookbook, and this is actually execution. All right, cool. What is the header file used for? So function prototypes and variable declaration. Uh, scope resolution operator. The double colon in the source file .cpp is called the scope resolution operator. It's used for the constructor definition. Basically, what that means is it's letting it know that we're inheriting from this class. Okay. Um, refers to the my class member function, like I said. So create a function called test. All right. Belonging to a class called demo. So we'll say class. Or sorry, we'll say test. Bring that back. We'll say test, and it belongs to demo. And let me figure out why we got this wrong. My class inherits from my class. So we'll say class test. No, let me say class demo. Class demo. Wrong. Let me figure this out. Let me just unlock this and see what I did wrong. Demo test. Okay. So demo inherits. Or demo uses test. Okay. Got that. Um. <coughs> To use our classes in our main, we need to include the header file, okay? So here we are using the header file and then we're gonna use my class. And what should be included in the main CPP? The class header file, awesome. All right guys, so a real quick tutorial, part 50. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great day, take care.